Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we've made it to the X-Ray Cheat Sheet. Um, and this one is a little bit long, but X-Ray is very important to know. So we're going to be very thorough here uh, in our review. So let's get to it. So X-Ray helps developers analyze and debug applications that utilize microservice architecture. Remember that it's really, really keen for microservice architectures. So if you're using lambdas or, uh, or you're using containers, X-Ray is really good for that. Uh, X-Ray is a distributed tracing system. It is a method used to, pro uh, to profile and monitor apps, especially those built using a microservice architecture to pinpoint where failures occur and what causes poor performance. The X-Ray Daemon is a software application that listens for traffic on UD uh, UDP port 2000, gathers raw segment data, and relays it to the AWS X-Ray API. Data is generally not sent directly to the X-Ray API and passes through the X-Ray Daemon, which uploads in bulk. And that's just to help uh, create a buffer between uh, from the X-Ray uh, API and the actual data being sent. Uh, will the daemon show up on the actual exam? Probably not, but we should really know uh, all the components of X-Ray. Segments provide the resource's name, details about the request, and details about the work done. Then you have sub-segments, which provides more granular timing information and details about downstream calls that your app made to fulfill the original request. Then you have your service graph. That, graph, that is that uh, flow chart visualization for average response of microservices and to visually pinpoint failure. Then you have traces. This collects all segments generated by a single request so that you can track the path of requests through multiple services. Then you have sampling, uh, which is an algorithm uh, that decides which requests should be traced. By default, X-Ray SDK records the first request each second and 5% of additional requests. So if you have a question on the exam and they're asking like, why don't you see this information? Just think about sampling. Tracing header is the name X Amazon Trace ID and identifies a trace with uh, which pass along downstream services. What's important to remember here is X uh, Amazon Trace ID. Uh, you might see a question where they show multiple, uh, um, like, like to pick the right one. So remembering that is key. Filter expressions allow you to narrow down specific paths or users. Groups allows, uh, uh, allow you to save filter expressions so you can quickly filter traces. And then on to the second page, we're almost done here. Annotation metadata allows you to capture additional, data, uh, additional information in key value pairs. So for annotations, they are indexed uh, uh, for use with filter expressions with a limit of 50. Metadata are not indexed. Use metadata to record data you want to store in the trace but don't need to use for searching traces. So if you need to search for traces, and you need that metadata, you're going to be using, or, or that uh, additional information, you're going to be using annotations. Errors are 400, uh, faults are 500, throttle is 4 to 9, too many requests. You probably want to just know the last one there. X ray supports the uh, following languages. I don't feel like they'd ask you a question. Well, they used to, but I think the exam's getting a little bit harder. So they're not, they're not just asking you to like choose the language that. Uh, that's not applicable anymore. But X-Ray supports basically all possible language that AWS has on there. As long as they're not telling you, uh, you're putting Perl in the list, it should be pretty easy to figure that out. X-Ray uh, supports AWS service integrations with the following, Lambda, API Gateway, App Mesh, CloudTrail, CloudWatch, AWS Config, EB, ELB, NSS, SQS, EC2, ECS, and Fargate. So there you go. That is X-Ray, and we are done here.